So nursing, so bed making is a nursing art with a heart. I'm just continuing with the heart. Okay? So why we do the bed making? Okay, so number one is the most to make the patient's most comfortable position or to keep them comfortable and relaxed on the bed. Second, to prevent bed sore because that is going to be, you know, why they are becoming, why they are developing bed sores. Because number one is the repositioning. Number two is uh, is because it's your bed sheets, crumpled bed bed sheets, wrinkled bed sheets can have your patient's pressure sore. Why? Because once it is crumpled, it's wrinkled. So the long time the patient is lying on the bed, so this one will create heat and friction on the bed sheet so it should be as in stretched clean and clear okay so those are why that's why we are going to make our bed according to the patient's condition also so what are the patient's beds bed making what are the types of bed making we have seven types of beds one open or unoccupied or simple bed or admission bed one in four four in one okay why open see uh, sorry open it's just open second unoccupied means no one is here third is simple as simple and for admission because patient is still coming for admission okay one i said one open, open, open or unoccupied simple simple or admission okay good two close bed or occupied bed means patient is occupying the bed. Clear? Yes, madam. Okay? So you do not tell me open, close, and occupied, occupied. Okay? Yes, Next, we have the cardiac bed. Four, we have the post-operative, post-surgical, and post anesthetic bed. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Amputation. Five. Amputation bed. Six. Fracture bed. Seven. Blanket bed. Where is the foul? So, what are the types of bed sheets or linens that we need to use when we when when we are making a bed? We have a bottom sheet, we have rubber or bucket touch, we have draw sheets, we have top sheets, we have blanket, we have pillow sheets and pillows. Okay. So these are the common okay? seven types of linens that we need to use. Now let's go with principles. What are the principles of bed making? Bed making means to say we are going to make a bed. Okay, so what are the principles? Principles means your guide, your checklist, how to make the bed. What, what you need to follow when making a bed? Okay, so observe body mechanics. What to observe in body mechanics? Do not bend. What else? One 
much mechanics, everybody knows it's about the movement. So what we are going to observe when observing body mechanics. Observe body mechanics. So body mechanics, you said, okay, never bend. Okay, so stand with your center of activity and body posture. Okay, what else? Alignment. Alignment is there, body mechanics, body alignment, body posture, lifting techniques, and center of gravity or what? Base of, uh, what is that? Center of gravity and base of support. Okay, what else? Okay, so when making the bed alone, complete half. Until then, go to the other side to complete the other half. Half, half. What else? As nursing low. No jewelry, not only for the bed making, all except your wedding ring. Okay, wristwatch is not also used because we have the nurse's watch. Okay, because why? Why to avoid? Why to prepare? Uh, not, not using jewelry. Okay, so that microorganisms cannot be transferred from your hinge to your jewelries, transferring to another patient or another staff. What else? What else? What shaking. principle? Avoid shaking. That is, we are talking about bed making, yes, but more on removing or stripping of bed. We're talking about bed making. What else? Bed should be on the waist level. What else? The have a finished appearance. Huh? The bed should have a finished appearance. A finished appearance. No print code. Finished appearance. Okay. And also, never drop anything on a patient's bed. You have to put everything on a mile table or a side table. Okay. Never put your linens on the patient bed like for example three beds here you do not put your uh, i mean linens on the next bed okay either put them on a chair or bedside table or a menu table what else yes that will be because do you want making your bed you are going there pushing in here and there Okay, so make sure also that the bed wheels are locked. What else? Done? No more? No more? Okay, we will go with that. Now with the re stripping, uh, sorry, removing or stripping of beds, what are the principles? Same. You have to complete half-half. But if you are two together, so do it as equal, okay? If you are two, but not most of the time you will have your company or your company. So another, never shake the linens. Never shake the linens. What else? Never keep the, the, uh, the dirty linens close to you. So uh, let your Dirty linen hamper ready. Once you collected your linens, drop them or dispose them immediately, not to put them on the floor. Okay? Fold them one by one. Gather them together in a hole, not one piece by piece. What else? Observe your transmission-based precaution. So you have to know if this patient bed has the patient just left, discharged. So you must know 
what was the condition of the patient on the bed. Because maybe this patient have communicable or infectious disease, so you have to use proper, appropriate PPE. What else? Okay, so under pipes must be disposed to where? Okay, to the medical waste bin. Okay, so I think that's all. That is for the bed making to clean the macintosh. Ah, here to clean the macintosh. So set it aside, and the pillow also you set it aside. Okay, so let's start with removing or stripping of bed. As what we said, we have the principles. So number one principle there is so keep them one by one, fold them one by one. So remove the bed sheets, fold them one by one. Bed, uh, sorry, what is this? Under five to go to medical, medical waste. The pillowcase, pillowcase, never shake. Set it aside. The rest, one by one. Okay, I need to come over that side. So I think you have to move a little bit. So as we said, we have to one by one, fold them one by one. Macintosh, take it off to be disinfected. So you have to come around half half. Okay, so you have to collect it in one piece and keep it directly or immediately to wear the linen hamper bag. Okay? So, Macintosh, we will disinfect it and keep it aside. Okay. So, let us fold this one. Come on. Come on, stand up and help. You will do this later. Fold it lengthwise. Come on, everybody. Pull it, pull it, Zoe. Lengthwise. I said lengthwise. Okay? This is not our work, but now it will be our work. Okay? It is the housekeeping work. Then twice, find the middle. Where is the center? Is that the center? Huh? Okay. Okay. Where are the others? You just stand there. You have to be a you help her, please. <laughs> you want to help? You are the only man in us. Okay, halfway. Okay. Draw sheet where? Draw sheets here. And the water sheets. Okay.
You know what? In everything you do, I can see. Yes. I can see who and who. It, it, it is not joke. Huh? I'm just observing every one of you. I will know, as I said, I will know who and who. When you do something, always do it, do it good. Okay? It's not only us you do it now, do the best that you can. Always. Okay, so let's start. So we have seven types of linens. So what is the first linen? So one of the principles is, so we will take the linen out of the linen trolley and place them according to its use. So what we, uh, what we have from under, I noticed, okay? So as I said, it should be according to your use. So now, what is the first thing that we will put on the bed? Oh. <laughs> Bottom sheet. <laughs> no, you, you have to hold your mouth if you are not sure of what you are going to say. Okay? So, bottom ship, Macintosh, drone ship, the top ship, blankets, the pillowcase, and the pillow. So now we have to flip it or turn it the other side. Okay, so it's ready. Blank, uh, bottom sheet, Macintosh or rubber, draw, top, blanket, the pillowcase, and the pillow. Okay, keep it on the bedside table or on the chair. Now, we will start with bed making. As I said, we have to start it half. Half and half. So, putting it half, always start with the half. I, have, I think you have to move it. Huh? Okay. So, find out where is the half of this sheet. Okay, so find out this is the middle. Okay, so half half. Find the middle, find the middle here. Take the part wherein it is folded. It should be the other way around. So half, half, we said half, half in the middle. So you have to hang this on both edge of the bed, both rails. I have to hang now, fun fold. Hold in the middle and find your way to make a fun fold. Fun fold, the last should be facing me. We're in on the other side, you can pull it. Okay? So this is fun folding. So it depends on you how to make it more intricate. More, it's up to you how you will make it very, very good. This is how I'm saying it's an art because you cannot do this by 
looking at it, right? You have to make it with your heart. With your heart to make it. Okay, next. Fold from the other, the head part, fold in, leaving the other half. Stretch. And I will come there, huh? don't, don't come down here. We will make our meter, the corner. So triangle, find the triangle, hold in under, hold with a finger, slide down up to the edge and the meter. Tap in. Another one, down on the foot part, a foot part, stretch, high triangle, fold under, tuck in, hold from this with your finger going to here, find out, and tuck in. Okay. Now let's move with the Macintosh. Macintosh should be in the middle. We need to fanfold it. Fanfold. We'll have draw shifts. Should be on the halfway. Okay. Halfway. Fun food. Dividend per share. So, paano kinukuha yan? Depende naman yan sa Okay, now. Draw shift and Macintosh together fold in. Pack in. Dividend per share. Now let's go with top sheet, the top sheet. Now it's already because of the rubber. Yeah, it's sliding. Mm. So as I said, find out where is your folded side. Now, on the, the uh, head part, you have to line the stop sheet at the edge of the bed. Edge means at the end of the label of the uh, uh, head part. Okay, fun food. together on the, the top edge sheet. of the bed. Okay. Total earnings now. So, income. Okay, guys. Net income over 
Now, top sheet and the blanket together. Fold in. Stretch. Find out your high triangle. Fold under. Hold with your finger from the edge to this point. Find it out. Not to tuck in. This is the final. Going to that side, I will show you how to do to meter the corner. I am very particular with metering the corner, okay? So if you have to get it at first, you are good enough. Stretch, pull it, and stretch. Start with the upper part or the head part, fold in. Now this is what I said. Uh, sorry. Find out a triangle. Okay, this is a triangle. It is not like that, right? So it is in line. Now hold from down, tap in. Okay. Now from here to there, hold your finger, slide it down. If you will find this, this is your marker. Okay, up to here. You have to touch your finger. Where is it? Okay. You have to hug at the corner. Fold in. This is the meter. It must be a clear cut or a triangular cut in here. See, there is no crumple. Nothing is there. So continue from the middle. Fold this under triangle because it's already moved there. Triangle. Okay? Tuck in. Hold here your finger. You can feel this one, right? This is the marker. It must hug. See this? Find your other end and Okay, fold the rest from the middle. Okay, now find where is your draw sheet and Macintosh together. Parati na mas teacher, sabi na sabi yung birthday niya. <laughs> <laughs> your mind is there. I can hear. So, fold them together. Now, top sheet and blanket together. It should be stretch. Okay. Fold it under. Always start from under. Fold it. Both together, top sheet and blanket together. So find out your line, your triangle. Tuck in, fold under. Hold here. You have to hold that marker there, okay? From there to the edge of this. Down. Find out your thumb. It must hug. Okay? It must 
hug here or it must fit in here. Otherwise, you will not get your your corner meter. Okay. Wow, I'm coming to lie on <laughs> Now, there is another principle here. After the pillowcase, let us get the pillowcase. After the pillowcase, we will open it. So, putting the pillowcase, there is a principle. The tag should be in. Okay, when you are putting your pillowcase, just keep it, lay it on top of the pillow, the opening. Hold it with your hand up to this line. Take this up. Now grab in the middle. Then you start inserting. You you check the other side. Flat it. Who is doing it at home? Or you are doing like this? No. <laughs> Never shake. <laughs> from now on so you have to make it like this so you can be used to this okay so perfect okay now our principle in here is six inches must be folded down or according to the size of the pillow never bend so I need to go there to fix the other side. Opening of the pillowcase must be away from the door. Okay, why? To prevent microorganisms. Okay, so to prevent microorganisms from yeah, keeping inside or entering inside the pillow. Okay, so this is the simple bed. Simple bed, Sorry. open bed, what else? Admission, Admission bed. bed and unoccupied. unoccupied because there is no one. Simple bed is just so simple. Okay? Open, no one is here. Unoccupied, there is no one. And still patient is coming for admission. If the patient will come like, or there is no patient to come, just keep this stuck in. Okay, you have to tuck in that side. The whole thing you have to tuck in because there is no patience. Now, cardiac bed. We will make a cardiac bed out of this simple bed. So when making cardiac bed, we need to pull this edge, okay, and keep a triangle. No over bending or bending. This is a cardiac bed. So you have to make a triangular here. And this tip should go this side. Why to this side? Everything should be on that side, right? Because the patient is coming inside of this, so you can easily cover the patient. Okay? Now, with this bed, we need to add a requirement or any, any more to add? Yes. Not only the bed of the cardiac bed that we are going to make. So, we will add some more, uh, I mean, equipment or... Uh, I mean, added, added to the cardiac bed. So what we need is the cardiac table.
So, cardiac bed requires a cardiac table. So, this is just the common food table in the hospital. Okay? So, keep it this way. So, we will be using it for the cardiac patient. Cardiac patient, they require this. You put a pillow on top and they will be sitting. What is the, the uh, position of the patient with the cardiac case? Fowler's position. Fowler's position. How many degrees? 45 to 90. Okay? 45. It will be like 45. So either 65, 75, and 90 is the full sitting, upright position. Sitting position, okay? Why we are doing this to our patient? For what? For the purpose of breathing. They have cardiac, they have heart. They have heart, yes, they have heart. 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 Okay, so most of the cardiac patients, they have difficulty of breathing. And what is the difficulty of breathing? This knee. This knee. Okay, so for this case, we are putting them on a cardiac bed with a cardiac table so they can just be, they are comfortably sitting all night and to avoid them from getting this knee. So they will be lying in bed, lie, I mean, sitting over this pillow with the cheek left or right. Okay, so they are comfortable. Then we will add also a cardiac board. A cardiac board, board is like this piece. Higher, this thick, okay? So you can pull the patient here with the cardiac bed. If you can see, there is something here to insert the board, okay? So it's not going to be to wiggle or to remove. So the patient will be on this side, pull the cardiac table here, and patient will be lying comfortably. There is also foot board. Foot board is, so you are going to put the same board a little bit higher than this. So this foot board same, there is a place to put in. Okay, so that it's not going to be removed or moved. So you will put the foot board here patient feet should be on the board to prevent foot drop okay foot board to prevent foot drop okay next we will have a fracture board a fracture bed so fracture bed it's almost the same as, uh, let's start with post-operative. Post-operative, post-surgical, post-anesthetic bed. So this bed is used by patients of different post-operative surgeries. Okay? So what do we need to add more on this bed? So we will have our wall mounted. So all patients bed in the hospital, it's new now. New, new technology is there. So we have put all mounted at the wall. So we have the wall mounted suction machine, wall mounted oxygen machine, and a wall mounted um, vital signs monitor. So what we need to check or to add more are the uh, suction catheters of appropriate size, uh, face oxygen face mask of appropriate size, what else, nasal pro of appropriate size, what else there, suction catheter as I said, and those disposable thermo scan or those disposable cups or ear cups or whatever disposable for body temperature. So what we need more to add are the, the underpads. Underpads should be covering all sides of the bed. So it should be here, another one here, and another one. 
So, what is the purpose of having this underpants? It helps you to prevent you not. Huh? That's your linens will be not dirty. Okay, it's about the linen. It's about you. Because or else you do not put this, you change now. Okay? So every time the patient make a mess for the blood, for the vomit, for anything, that is for you. Okay? So you have to put this in everywhere that you need, that you see it might make a mess. Okay? What else? We need to put... A kidney basin. What kidney basin is for? Vomiting. Okay. Kidney basin is for vomiting. So keep one here. Post anesthetic patient requires this one because there is a tendency or possibility that they might vomit post anesthetic. When weaning off the anesthesia, so they might they might so put one here so what we need also we will um, uh, we will prepare also urinal but most of them they have the urinary catheter from OR but soon that urinary catheter is out so you prepare your urinal you have seen the urinal okay you have seen the bed pan. okay everybody knows what I'm talking about okay so all of those, what else? You have to prepare at least two or three of the IV stands. Because you see now, so if it is two, three, four, five with dialysis, with everything, with the blood and something, you must prepare at least two or three IV stands, mobile IV stands. What else I left? Warmer, bed and warm Warmer blanket if you don't have the hot water bag okay those hot water bag is the rubber rubber water bag that you can place the hot water there and keep them with the patient but make sure when you use them wrap it with towel okay you do not just use it as in direct to the patient what more i think i am complete with that now let's go with the fracture bed when a patient, when you receive a patient with a fracture or post-operative fracture, so you you need also. Yes. So as I said, patients with post-operative, we will prepare a bed. Going back. So for the post-operative bed. We need to prepare this bed, okay? Preparing it, first, you have to fold at the edge of the bed. At the edge means at the end of this. Top sheet and the blanket together. Unfold it. Release it and fold them together if it is long just keep it like this okay so now both and both in hold them both together fold it halfway no bending. If you are two together, the other one can catch up to the other side. But if you are alone going to do it, you are alone. Now half, keep it half, and fold back. Okay. As we said, we need to avoid wrinkles because patient or you yourself, you do not want to lie down in a wrinkled bed sheet. Okay, so this is half half, and then put them uh, the uh, the uh, underpads all together here. 
Okay, so this is the post-operative bed, post-anesthetic, post-surgical. Now we will be using the same bed for fracture bed and amputation bed. So fracture bed, we need to add, we need to, uh, I mean to prepare fracture board. And fracture board is like this board, okay? Same. So why nobody is, uh, I mean, saying it? Okay, so fracture board, sorry, cardiac board, we call it cardiac board, to prevent the patient from sinking when you are doing your compression. Okay, so cardiac board, uh, what else we need? Sandbag. Sandbag, fracture board, sorry, fracture board. We are talking about now as fracture. Fracture bed, we require fracture board, so that to prevent the amputation, uh, the the fracture from you know sinking also the same because this is soft okay so you will put the fracture board here over it either you put a pillow you put the under pad and then the pillow and then over that you have to put sandbag 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 it consists of a bag wherein there is sand inside okay typical okay literal sand bag they just put it they contain it in a bag okay but that bag has different weights so if it is baby who had fractured leg so it must be at least 500 grams okay you put five five kilos here the baby's feet will die Okay, so appropriate sandbag to immobilize means not to move because now, as in 24 hours, the fracture, the fracture, post of fracture should be immobilized, not to be moved. Okay, so over this, we will put a cradle bed, bed cradles. Okay, so what is the purpose of this bed cradle? To weigh off the linen. Weigh off. So not to touch the patient's operative site. Okay, so this one, as I said, so you have the fracture board. You have the under pad. You keep one pillow on top. You put your fracture uh, part. And then over that is a sandbag, and over the sandbag here is the bed cradle, okay? That bed cradle will weigh off. It's not going to touch the patient's post-operative side, okay? Fracture. Now, amputation. For amputation uh, bed, we will be using the same fracture board because we are going to lay the patient post amputation post amputation means a cut a cut of a leg a cut of an arm uh, what else a tie whatever is cut that is amputation so amputation you have a stump the stump means this whole thing is covered okay when you find this one is bleeding you do not remove the bandage and change you have to reinforce without the doctor's order do not do anything call the nurse or call the doctor okay never never you touch this without the permission of the doctor so if there is a bleeding so this time over that fracture bed under pad the uh, pillow this is the stump over that is the sandbag. Over the sandbag is the same bed cradle. But we need the most important thing to prepare. Tourniquet. The tourniquet. You have seen the tourniquet? Yes. Okay. So to stop the bleeding. Okay. Make sure you know what is the use of tourniquet. So you have to keep the tourniquet in the bedside of the patient with amputation. 
anytime the patient could bleed. Okay? So that, if this is the amputation stump, you have to put it here so that to stop the flow of blood. Okay? So the same way, as I said, fracture board, you need the under pad, you need the pillow, sandbag, uh, cradle bed, bed cradle, and the tourniquet for the uh, amputation. So now the last one we have blanket bed. Blanket bed is used by two specialty specialist doctor for the patient with two conditions. One, we have. Number one, we have re, um, rheumatoid arthritis. Why rheumatoid arthritis? Blanket bed for rheumatoid arthritis. Why? Huh? So, because patients with rheumatoid arthritis, they feel cold. So, they need to be kept warm. Okay? So, that warmer bed is like this plain bed. There is like a warmer, uh, I mean, topper. Okay, so you can put it there to be regulated electrically. So there is a thermoregulator to keep the patient warm. So those patients coming from operating room, they also require warmer blanket. So if they don't have warmer blanket, they need to use hot water bag. But for the blanket bed, you need particularly for these conditions. One rheumatoid arthritis, and the other one is for kidney patients, kidney cases. Because they have the renal failure, they feel cold, any of the renal disease. Okay, so two conditions requires warmer blanket. Mom, this kidney is same like dialysis, right? Yes, I said any. Any, any of the kidney condition. Okay, so they require blanket bed. Okay? Now, who will do it? 